history chapter 10 historic period points to be discussed 10.1 that means chapter 10 in that point 1 so 10.1 what is a culture 10.2 ancient civilization in river valley 10.3 ancient riverine civilizations in that there are four sub points a mesopotamia b Egypt, C, China, D, Harappa. 10.4 Sports and Entertainment. We will be seeing one point each at a time. But before that, let us know how historic period begin. In earlier chapters, you have learned that written records were available in the form of inscriptions, manuscripts, books, etc. for the historic period. In ancient civilization, art of writing was developed. In the last chapter we learnt, it tells us due to the ancient civilization, new stone age came to an end and historic period began. So I hope how historic period begin is clear to you. Let us see the first point, what is culture? In this paragraph, about animals life and humans life is given separately let us see animals life first animals depend upon nature to fulfill their needs however animals do not much change the environment for example there are animals like bear bear lives in caves monkey monkey lives on trees birds birds live in nest what it shows it shows only us, that is human beings, change the natural feature of surroundings for them. Yes or no? For example, we, human beings, roast or cook the food before eating. We work on stone, metals, etc. to make tools and various objects. We make pots, bricks and many other things from clay. We obtain yarn from cotton and weave cloth. In short, according to our needs, according to the need of human beings, we change the form of materials available in the nature. To do this, we must be very skillful. We think and plan before shaping the object. The tradition of thoughts, that is thinking capacity, only human has. Skills and efforts gave rise to various art form. Yes, that we learned in the last chapter. Artistic skills and traditions were passed on to generation to generation, person to person. With sitting together and talking and exchanging ideas and plans gave rise to many languages. This is known as culture. So, that means the definition of culture given in the history textbook is the knowledge of various arts, skills, traditions were inherited, given, passed on from one family to other family, other family to other family, were inherited from generation to generation and a way to new life on that knowledge was found. It is known as culture. So, what is the definition of culture according to the textbook? The knowledge of various arts, skills, traditions were inherited, passed on, inherited from generation to generation and a way to new life on that knowledge was found. It is known as culture. So, students, I hope this point is clear to you. Let us see the next point ancient civilization in river valleys explanation is here in new stone age culture was based on agriculture agriculture need fertile land soil and proper water for growing good crops so village settlements were flourished began near the banks of the rivers thus the new stone age culture was flourished along the river banks in this you are going to know about in this same point you are going to know about early civilization what gave rise to early civilization increase in production due to various skills 
for example use of wheel flourishing trade trade began use of well developed scripts for keeping records rise of early civilization came into existence around 300 bc bc means before christ in four regions four places which are those four places mesopotamia egypt indian subcontinent china these four regions were developed in river valleys on the bank of the river why agriculture was taken place that is why village settlements began there so they are known as riverine civilization so students i hope this point is clear to you let us see the next point ancient riverine civilization as i said in this there are four points we have to discuss each point at a time these four places which you are seeing on the screen are the names of some places first one is mesopotamia it means land between two rivers the meaning of this name mesopotamia is land between two rivers so mesopotamia was the land between two rivers the name of two rivers are tigris and euphrates tigris and euphrates tigris and euphrates flow through turkey syria and iraq so i hope you understood this mesopotamia is the name of a place mesopotamia means land between two rivers name the two rivers tigris and euphrates these rivers flow through turkey syria and iraq ancient mesopotamia had great cities like ur urk nippur etc these cities has very good and well known cultures next one egypt in this paragraph you will know about egyptian civilization let us know about river nile river nile flows through the eastern part of the sahara desert in nor north of africa river nile flows through the eastern part of the sahara desert in north of africa egyptian civilization flourished along the banks of river nile so before we learnt about river nile huh? from where does it flow egyptian civilization began along the bank of river nile river nile gets flooded every year the bank of the river has become very fertile very good for agriculture the banks of the river has become very fertile because of the flood deposit flood water gets accumulated on the banks of the river ancient egyptians stored stored the flood water when the soil in the flood water settles at the bottom that water is used for irrigation so students i hope egypt is clear to you next is china explanation ancient china was developed and flourished in the valley of h is silent ah huh? wang e river h is silent again wang e river as per chinese tradition a king named wang di introduced agriculture animal husbandry wheeled carts and chariots boats clothing in china so who invented all this who discovered all this as per chinese tradition wang di introduced he was the king of china what did he introduced agriculture animal husbandry wheeled carts and chariots boats clothing in china chinese people believed that his queen invented the technique of silk production and silk dyeing luang beijing and chang an were the important cities of ancient china luang beijing and chang an were the important cities of ancient china so students i hope china is clear to you let us see harappa harappan civilization is the earliest civilization of indian subcontinent our harappan civilization flourished in indus valley indus means sindhu 
इंडस इज ए इंग्लिश वर्ड पंजाब एंड मोहनजोदारो इन सिंध एंड द टू साइड ऑफ हारपन सिविलाइजेशन विच वॉज डिस्कवर्ड फर्स्ट सो पंजाब एंड मोहनजोदारो इन सिंध आर द टू साइड ऑफ हारपन सिविलाइजेशन इट वॉज डिस्कवर्ड फर्स्ट नाउ दीज टू प्लेसेस आर इन पाकिस्तान फेमस साइट ऑफ हारपन सिविलाइजेशन आर इन इंडिया विच आर दे लोथाल एंड ढोला लोथाल एंड ढोला वीरा इन गुजरात लोथाल एंड ढोला वीरा इन गुजरात एंड काली बंगन इन राजस्थान नाउ लेट एस नो अबाउट द सिटीज ऑफ हारपन सिविलाइजेशन हारपन सिविलाइजेशन हैड अ सिस्टमैटिक टाउन प्लानिंग दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ हाउसेस बिल्ट इन ब्लॉक्स एलॉन्ग विद पैरल roads that crossed each other at the right angles huge houses for people and barn or you can say stable or you can say shed cow shed for example the main feature of harappan civilization it was that means houses were built for humans as well as domestic animals there were bathrooms and toilets in every house there was drainage system or covered gutters which shows the public cleanliness public hygiene there were public and private wells the cities were divided into two to four parts and each city was constructed separately now let us know about earthen pots in harappan culture harappan in harappan civilization earthen pots were well baked red in color and with beautiful designs designs were made of people leaves fish scales when tapped with fingers these pots produce metallic sound let us know about harappan craftsmen harappan craftsmen were highly skilled in making bronze objects and beads from semi precious stones of various colors harappan craft articles were in great demand in mesopotamia In Harappan civilization gods and goddesses were not known with the help of seals and clay figures human worship Pashupati lord of all living things if today if anybody is asking you who is Pashupati among god we will say one and only one name that is lord Shiva it is a hindu deity lord Shiva lord Shankar yes or no and a mother goddess they worshiped a mother goddess name is not mentioned so students i hope this point is clear to you i hope mesopotamia egypt china and harappan civilization is also clear to you let us see the next point sports and entertainment explanation hunting and wrestling were famous in ancient civilization a game played with game board and games men were very popular in egypt it was known as senath even in china mesopotamia and in harappan civilization such similar games were played for example take chess many toys were found in harappan civilization this includes whirls whistles rattles bullock carts animal and birds on wheels music and dance were part of celebrations and festivals ancient people used many type of musical instruments a string instrument named balag was very popular other instruments like cymbals rattles flutes drums etc were also played egyptian kings were known as farah farah on some festivals the farah himself participate in the occasions and dance a bronze image of a dancer was found during the excavation during the digging at mohenjodaro it is the evidence of dance during the harappan civilization so students i hope the fourth point is also clear to you and you have understood the chapter very well thank you